Hello Pisces, it is your girl Sacred 144 Tarot. I'm here for a quick reading today. Okay, well you know for both channels when I say quick, time is an illusion, so let's see. <laughs> well hello Pisces, all placements. It is your girl Sacred 144 Tarot. We are here for a general and timeless message for the Pisces. If you would like a personal reading, Akashic Record session, if you would like to be a part of our Sacred Tarot course, it's a tarot course with 22 major arcanas focusing on Christ consciousness. Starts December 2nd. Feel free to take a look at the box below. It has my email and it has my website, letsgohome.energy. We're going to get into this reading, Pisces. We're going to get into this reading today. Um, I did upload one last night. Uh, and all signs reading is uploading as well. I'll be doing a reading for all signs and one for Pisces every day. At least Pisces every day. All right. Father Light, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit. What messages do we have for the Pisces today? What messages do we have for Pisces today? Yes. Okay. Yes. What do we have for the Pisces today? Pisces, there's people that are watching you. It's like stalker alert. Can I have another message for this? People like to watch you, Pisces. I feel like there's people watching you that don't even reveal themselves that they watch you. There's people that are watching you that don't like you. The queen of the light. Boom. Your light irritates their demons. We've been saying this, Pisces. Illumination, enlightenment, celebration. And the hungry ghost. They see your light. It's like a... Be careful of energy vampires, Pisces. I feel like... There's people watching you. Yeah. So selflessness, humility, conscious action. And queen of the light. But we have these hungry ghosts here. Energy vampires. Energy vampires in your life, Pisces. Pisces, there's people in your life that... There's like an attachment to them that is obsessed with you. But it's really just your light. Get a message over here for the Pisces. There's someone that's obsessed with you. Okay, Pisces, there's someone who cannot create their own spirit. And so, yeah, there's someone who cannot create their own spirit. So it's like they watch you and they only... Someone's focused more on you than they're focused on themselves. Three, two, one. When they should really be focused on themselves. Maybe you're focused on your path, whatever it is that you're doing. But there's hungry ghosts that want to feed off your light. There's hungry ghosts that just can't get over you. You know, so for some Pisces, maybe be in hermit mode. You might be in hermit mode. Um, might be away from the public eye, whatever it is. You might be just be doing your own thing. Not even looking to what everyone else is doing. Again, you're looking up into the light. Okay, thank you, spirit. You're looking up into the light. You're on your own path. There's people that are watching you. Holy Spirit, Father Light, Mother Earth. Can I have another message for this message for the Pisces? Spiritual gifts. Yeah, you're really focused on your gifts, upgrades, Pisces. Really maybe focus on yourself. Whew. I feel like someone's doing tarot on you, Pisces. But there's just someone just... Or... Can I have one more card for the spiritual gifts? For the Pisces. Spiritual gifts for the Pisces. Balance. Trust your vibes. 
there's someone here, Pisces, that I feel like they don't even like you, but they watch you. They, or someone that just can't get over you from the past. And trust your vibes. Trust your intuition right here. You might feel this. And I, I, this eye catches me. So maybe it's like for some of you, you could be sensitive to the evil eye, whatever that is. To you. I have one more message for this. Holy Spirit, Father, Light, Mother Earth. One more message for this. To not fall face up. Father, Light, Mother Earth. Okay. There's people who are really obsessed with you. Almost fell face up, so we'll put it back in. Father, Light, Mother Earth. Yeah, Shiva energy. Shiva. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So I feel like your guides are speaking to you about this. Maybe you're guided to go into hermit mode or like whatever it is that you're doing things differently. Look at that, the eye as well. The evil eye energy. For those of you who maybe believe in that or see it, whatever it is, or feel it. I mean, your light is just attract. That's what it is, Pisces. Your light's going to attract these energies. Period. You know, your light's going to attract these energies. But there's, it's the energy truly Pisces. Like there's really someone, and it says hungry ghosts. So it could be more than one person. Let's just go with the tarot. We'll leave this here. Father Light, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit. Can I have one card for this overall energy? One card for this overall energy, Father Light. The Phoenix Rising, that's why. They can sense it, you know, the attachments and other people can sense it. The Wheel of Fortune, the wheel's turning for you, Pisces, and they can sense it. So they're gonna... And when someone has their own attachments, when someone truly cannot supply for themselves, they... When someone cannot supply for themselves, Pisces, and when they maybe see you rising, they're going to want to bring the Ten of Pentacles. So you're coming into this energy, Pisces. This is your energy. The hungry ghost. Look at that. So you're in this energy. People who are in scarcity consciousness, people who don't, and it's not even money. Maybe you don't even have the money, but they're jealous of your consciousness. They're jealous of your spirit. Your spirit irritates and your light irritates their demons. Scarcity consciousness, 808. This is the other person and this is you, Pisces. Phoenix rising and 10 of pentacles. What's the 10 of pentacles over here? And again, 10 of pentacles, it could just be energy. A rich mindset, right? But there's people I feel like who are still living Maybe in fear mindsets or whatever it is. I feel like it's your energy. Like people wish they had your energy because they cannot create their own because it does not come easily to them. Four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups over here for the Pisces? For the Pisces, what's the Four of Cups? Your original. Maybe your energy is original. Your energy could be very pure. You're a Pisces. Uh, the, for some of you, it's like something with your Venus as well. Pure energy. Beautiful energy. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles for the Pisces. Yeah. So you yourself... Pisces. This is the Four of Cups over here. 933. Four of Cups in the regular tarot is like a cup that's behind your head. You know, maybe like a missed opportunity, something that you don't see. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. With that Pisces though, I feel like some sort of seeds that were sown... 
seeds that are so long required for the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles the hangman which is your energy pisces 10 10 is i hear transformation you know so pisces there's something within your consciousness right There's a seat. You're able to, Pisces, you are able to sprout seeds, but in the dark. So what comes from you, Pisces, I'm, I'm feeling though that like it comes from you. Like maybe it, like it's the energy of the womb and birthing something like you truly birth things for yourself. You truly do. For your own self like it comes from you maybe in times of meditation or stillness i feel like you get ideas i feel like you have a direct connection to your source to your guides did not fall face up what's the hangman here you know and that's the energy of it coming from you doing the cards this makes a lot of noise what's the hangman i feel like maybe there's people yeah princess of cups I feel like there's people that are in their own exploration and self-discovery. I've, oh, yeah. I feel like Pisces. There's people who you intimidate. Six of Wands. They see you coming in on a white horse and you intimidate them. And so it's almost... Such weird energy. They see you coming in on a white horse. Your light irritates their demons and makes them feel like they have to. Protect themselves, Seven of Wands. You make people feel like they have to protect themselves, 1212. People feel like you're a threat. You might just be shining in your light. But your light irritates their demons. They watch you. Seven of five of swords. Yeah, they watch you. They take notes on you, Pisces. Trying to figure out a way. Yeah, I, I feel like, oh, Pisces. Yeah, okay. So some of you, you walked away from something. They're still watching you. You walked away from a situation, from something. They're still watching you. Yeah. Why? Because they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your light. Something within them that they're obsessed with. What's the Eight of Cups here? Yep, the Hermit. You walked away, you went within, doing whatever it is that you need to do, Pisces. What's the hermit here? Before I start speaking, what's the hermit? Before I start speaking, what is the hermit? Holy Spirit. Three of Cups. You create things for yourself. You create your own energy. Three, three, three. You don't need anyone else to do this for you. You don't need anything, anyone else or anything else to do it for you because it comes from you. The Three of Cups. With the hermit. And maybe that's what you did. Separate yourself from something, the high priestess. Right here. So with the high priestess, you've completely separated yourself from something, but they're still obsessed with you. Oh, I'm here, Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? I just want to know. Why are you so obsessed with me? And again, I feel like it's like the trust your vibes. You could feel it. You know, you might not even see it, the magician, but you could feel it. It's so weird. What's the high priestess here? The devil, you could feel it. 1433. You can feel it, Pisces. You feel it, but that's okay. Four, uh, 444. With the Empress, you feel it. You can feel it. You can feel that energy. 
what I'm getting though is like you've completely separated yourself from whatever this energy is. You're not even watching this energy. You have no clue. Like you're totally not attached to this energy, but this energy wants to watch you. This energy wants to attach itself to you. This energy sees you because it sees your light and it doesn't like it. Well, what's the devil here? What is the devil here? What's the devil here with the high priestess? Yeah, the eight of wands. You telepathically can feel this. You know this. They're giving you uh, 1533. Your spirit guides are giving you information. Or like you just feel it. Again, it's like the... You feel the energy. Tell You're a Pisces, right? The Hierophant. Boom. God. So, God is giving you information on this energy. You're a high priestess. You feel it. The communication, the ghost source. Let's go to another deck. Ace of Cups right here. Let's go to another deck. All right. What does source have to say? You already know when you click on this channel, the higher font for me is Source. The Empress. That and that oh Thank you for the card. And the world. So the Empress was on the bottom of the deck when we pulled that out. The Empress. God sees you. Oh, okay. So I talked about like your innocent heart or spirit, whatever it is. Like you have a pure spirit. But it's so, like, okay, so I'm going to re rephrase that. Whatever it is in your spirit is irritating something in someone else that they don't have, that they, yeah, someone, someone, like, really, like, you're irritating them. It's weird. It's so weird. We have the Empress clarifying that. What's the Empress? the empress here did not fall face up oh and that one did the hangman again which is your energy pisces oh what god says about this is be still look at that the moon was done in the dark be still god reveals it god reveals it be still that's what god is saying with the high priestess you feel it god said the empress after that be still empress be still What's the hangman here? Force. Oh, I can't make that up. Be still. Be still. And there's a song by um, Kendrick Lamar called DNA. And it's like, with Yeshua, my weapon. I meditate and contemplate and off your fucking head. I put that kids to bed with Yeshua, my weapon. Yeah, yeah, what is it? I don't know. Yeshua, my weapon. I meditate and contemplate and off your fucking head. Don't do anything. Spirit saying, be still. Look at that temperance. You are an alchemist, a gift of alchemy. You transmute energy. And uh, th with your gift, you're going to attract this. And I, oh, spirit, you are here to transmute darker energies. You see darker energies, you transmute it for people. You transmute it for people. So when God, oh, when God, when someone's irritated by your spirit, don't fret. That's your gift from God. Your light, your gift of alchemy is your gift from God. So when people approach you, that's because they're ready to approach God. They're ready to approach the Holy Spirit when they approach you. Period. What's the temperance over here? Yeah, you're an earth angel. Earth angel, like it's like, you know, maybe you um, resonate with that, with that saying. Maybe you call yourself that, but that, that's what comes to mind. It's like you're here, you're doing some kind of work. Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups here? 
purify. I hear purify. Six of cups. Pure. What's the six of cups here? What's the six of cups with the temperance? The fool. Yeah. Right over here. Okay, because with the fool, the fool does represent innocence. The six of cups, that's what I was seeing. It's like purify, purify, pure. You purify people. But because of that, they're going to think you're the enemy. Because when they feel it, they feel that, that they need to surrender. But they mistake in fear. When all of what was, was surrendering to God, to the Holy Spirit, whatever it is, to the light. But that provokes fear because they've been avoiding surrender. What's the fool in the Six of Cups? What's the fool in the Six of Cups? Let me pick these cards up. What is the fool in the Six of Cups? Three of Wands. One more card before I talk what's in my head. What's the Three of Wands? Clarify the Three of Wands. Thank you. Thank you, the devil, and judgment. I'm so excited. By, by the way, Pisces, like, I missed you. My own spiritual journey. God said, be still and do this, this, and this, and then come back. I said, okay. This person... They're avoiding this energy. So they look away from like they're not they're not look. You're trying to maybe it's like your spirit. This is really more resembling your spirit. Maybe it is you. Maybe you're talking to someone, you know, if you're in contact with someone for some of you, you're not. But that's your light. It's like, here's a light. And they're like, no, no, because of the devil. That's within them. The demons, whatever judgment. What's this judgment? King of Swords, the High Priestess. Could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's just energy, you know. So even when I read these, I don't really like to talk about signs because it's all energy, you know. The Knight of Pentacles. How does the Knight of Pentacles relate to the High Priestess and the King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles? Someone feels threatened by your spirit with the high priestess. So she's closing her eyes and there's someone approaching with the sword, right? But she doesn't even need to open her eyes because she already sees it. What's the ace of pentacles with the nine of pentacles? They feel like you're a threat. Maybe for some, like it's money. Okay. Scarcity consciousness. Someone feels like you're stealing their money. How can you steal someone's money? Someone feels like you're stealing their hungry ghost. They feel like you're stealing their money. But if you're rich minded, then if you're truly rich minded, how can anyone steal your money? If you're being provided for by your spirit and by God, whatever it is to you, how can anyone take from you? If you're living under thy will, how do you have any fear that someone's taking from you? Because of your scarcity consciousness, because of demonic attachments, because of obsession over here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Hierophant. Yes, this is what God is saying. This is what God is revealing. Someone feels like you're stealing. How? Someone feels like you're a threat to them. How? If you're living under thy will, no one is a threat from you. No one can take anything from you. No weapon form shall prosper. These are people who are truly operating in a scarcity consciousness. They have their own things to heal. They have attachments, whatever it is. And that's why the balance card is here is because that's coming to a balance. Maybe you feel the energy. What God is saying is be still. If it's for you, it's for you. That's why it's like weird energy. You know, it's like 
know, someone that's clearly in an illusion, delusion. And yeah. Again, is the energy in the beginning? Look at that, justice. The energy in the beginning that if you have a connection with God, if you have a connection with your spirit guides, there's no one that's a threat to you. If there's no enemy inside of you, there's no enemy without of you. So if anyone feels that way in your life, Pisces, that's because there's an enemy within them. What's the Hierophant here? One card for the Hierophant and then we'll go take two cards of advice. One card for the Hierophant. Queen of Cups. You're protected, Pisces. This is your energy, your queen energy. You're protected. No weapon form shall prosper. You're living under thy will. Look at that, the sun right over here. You're the Queen of Cups. Energy is balanced right over here. You know, so if, if you're dealing with these energies, if you feel it, just be still and let God do what God is doing. Let God, let, let, let it be, you know? And that, yeah, that's the energy that I have for you. And then, of course, we have Strength in the Magician over here. Yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. It's a beautiful energy. You have to know, though, Pisces, it's like when you, yes, when you, the happier you are, the light, the shiner you, uh, the brighter you shine, as above, so below, right? The angel gate, cleansing, protection, blessing. Look at that dove. That's a dove energy. Um, you're protected. When you're living under thy will, you're completely protected. And what's this? Completion, reunion, return right over here. Maybe you're completing a cycle. Take it as a resonance. Um, which one? This one. All right, and we'll end off with this message of advice. But just know, and there goes the dove. But just know, you know, that you're protected, you're blessed, you're anointed, whatever it is. Um, birds say, like, just as you focus on yourself, just focus on yourself. Living under thy will. Isis. <laughs> right over here. We had Isis come out yesterday too. Holy Queen, Mother of us all, embodied manifestation of love. You are love. And when you are love, other people will be irritated. The new Aeon, imagination, visionary prophet right over here. And what's the card? And the new Aeon, that, that is the Phoenix Rising card, you know, right over here. You know, and that's what I have for you today, Pisces. You are love. You are an embodiment of love. And it irritates people. Maybe you're doing your own thing, you know, on your own path and really tunnel vision and focus. But there are people still watching you because they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your energy. Hungry ghosts. But I feel like also for some of you, I feel like you, you that's part of your strength. You're here. You have the alchemy gift. You're here to transmute energies of other people. And it's really healing other people, actually. But there's someone out there, Pisces, that's like, I feel like you're the problem. And it's not you. You know, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm sending you so much love, so many blessings. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to take a look at the box below. It has my website and my email. Many blessings.